to my channel. This is going to be my first official fall autumn video of 2016. I wanted to do a really affordable themed video. I've done a whole drugstore makeup look. Make sure you guys stay tuned till the end because I have two outfit looks to share with you as well. And now let's get started on the tutorial. First things first, L'Oreal True Match. What a surprise. I mean, I'm surprised I'm still using this freaking same bottle, but the stuff is so good. I'm a little bit tanned at the moment, so it's not really my right color, but I feel like it blends so easily that I have been getting away with it. <laughs> I know my tan's gonna fade in like three days, <laughs> so I don't wanna buy a new, new color foundation, but I just love the way this looks on my skin. Oh, there's a hair, there is a hair. Ugh, brushes that shed. No, 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 no. I actually am wearing so much less foundation now that I have a tan. The other day I didn't even wear foundation, but I thought for this look, I'm gonna show you. Under my eyes, I'm gonna mix two things, the Collection Illuminating Touch and the LA Girl Pro Conceal. This one's quite matte. It's like, it's not a really illuminating concealer. And this one is obviously an illuminating wand. So I like to mix them on the back of my hand as a little palette and it makes me feel like a professional when I mix stuff on the back of my hand. You know, I feel like Lisa Eldridge always has like stains on the back of her hand or maybe she doesn't because she's such an elegant human. But um, where am I going with this tangent? Oh yeah, yeah, under eye concealer. I'm just gonna use that with my ring finger and dab that underneath my eyes. Does anyone ever hum to themselves when they're doing their makeup? I'm kind of like a bit over the whole like stripey concealer thing for now. I mean, it'll probably change next week, but right now I just like patting stuff in with my fingers. To set my under eyes, I'm gonna use the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I literally just dab that in the tiniest amount, set that under my eyes cause everything gets a bit shiny. And I also set my chin cause these days, I don't know why my chin and my upper lip they always like, they always attract the shine. Most of them I know is, which is weird. Guys, this palette I found in Superdrug and it is so good and really cool. And the packaging is amazing as well, for, especially for like a drugstore packaging because it's actually hard and it has a huge mirror in it as well. It's by Makeup Revolution London and it looks like this. It's a contour and highlight palette. The highlights are kind of a bit shimmery, but I quite like them. And the contour, they even have like a light shimmery highlight color, a banana color, three different contour shades, and they're different between like cool and warm. Oh, it's so, so, so good. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these two shades and just sweep them in the hollows of my cheeks just to define them a little bit. I want my eyes to be the main focus of this look, so I'm not gonna do anything like too intense on my cheeks. The other thing I could not wait to show you, I have so many good products in this video, guys. I'm like obsessed with everything I'm using. And this is Maybelline Master Strobing Stick. Oh, it is so gorgeous. I hate cream sticks is the first thing I need to tell you, but this is literally amazing. Like, look at that. Can you see? <gasps> the way it picks up the light is like, oh my gosh. And then I literally blend the edges with my finger, not even like the middle bit. And it doesn't actually interrupt my foundation, which is the annoying thing I find about creams. It's not like a powdery cream and it's not like a cream cream. It's somewhere in the middle so it doesn't mess up with your foundation. It's more like a liquid cream. I literally just went away and I forgot my highlighter when I was away, so... I'm back, I'm back on the highlighter train and this is the MUA Undress Your Skin Highlighter in Iridescent Gold. It's so beautiful and it's really, really highlightery. You guys will see now, it just, oh my gosh, it is so gorgeous. Highlighter really excites me, guys. It really excites me. I love everyone being able to see my gorgeous highlighter. Mm. For eyes, my primer is just a very, very simple L'Oreal Magic Decrease Eyeshadow Primer. I've used this for ages and ages and ages. And it's honestly, it's such a staple for me. It's so good. It is my go-to drugstore eyeshadow primer. This I picked up in a haul, I think I showed it recently or maybe like a couple of months ago. It's the Milani Eyeshadow Palette. These are out of this 
world you guys they're so good the matte shades are amazing i'm not so keen on the actual glitter shade but the shimmer shades are gorgeous as well and whew, i mean they're amazing they're so good the first thing i'm gonna do is take this shade here and use that a bit in my crease and i'm gonna sweep that into my socket bone I'm then going to use the darker matte shade in that palette just to define a little bit and add a bit more of a socket. When I'm actually trying to do this, the easiest way I find is when I look down into a mirror and I just place it into kind of like where my eyeball reaches the socket bone. I'm going to add a little bit of shimmer and pat the white shimmery shade onto my lid, staying below the crease. Maybelline Master Precise Liquid Liner is so good. You guys are gonna see how easy it is. It's my favorite kind of nib to use. My tip for applying liquid liner without using sticky notes, you guys know I always use sticky notes, is to rest your pinky like on your cheekbone and use that as a balance. If you guys are looking for a glide on gel liner, this one's amazing. It's by LA Girl. It's super, super, super creamy, and I'm just gonna apply that in my upper and lower waterline. Oh my god, it feels so weird. I swear, I do this so often, and every time it gets more and more weird. Like, it doesn't get easier. <laughs> also, I pull the weirdest faces while I'm doing it. My like, oh. For my lower lash line, I wanna do something a bit plummy and smoky. And this palette, or these palettes in general, because I have them in so many different shades, you guys need to get your hands on these palettes because they're so awesome. It's the NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette. And I'm going to mix these two plummy purple shades. Um, they're both matte, by the way. And I'm going to run that on a pencil brush along my bottom lash line. Brow bone highlights honestly make such a difference. So I'm gonna use the lighter shade in the Milani palette and just sweep that underneath my brow. This is a really, really good product, the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. Honestly, NYX products are like so good, guys. They're so, so, so good. If you're looking for like an Anastasia Brow Wiz dupe, check this out. I'm normally quite lazy with my brows, but recently I've seen in pictures what a difference it makes when I take time to do my brows. So, trying to get on the brow bandwagon. It's honestly because I never used to love my brows like I really really didn't and if you guys have seen my um oh what was it it was my oh I'm trying to think it was my teenage makeup like recreation then you guys will know why I just don't acknowledge my brows because it was literally a very scarring time for me these eyebrows I'm gonna use a quick coat of mascara this is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Luscious Mascara I've been dying to put something berry toned on my lips. Literally, it's my favorite thing to wear for fall. It's so cliche, I know, I know, I know, but I love it. So I'm gonna start with Rimmel Under My Spell Lip Liner. These are my favorite, favorite, favorite lip liners. Um, you can see they're like so creamy. The lipstick I'm gonna use is a matte one from Maybelline, look. Is, doesn't that just scream like autumn winter? It's just such a gorgeous color and it's so creamy. Look at that. That was like one coat. Coat? Swipe? I kind of like to mix different shades and make my own fun little shade like concoction on my lips. So this is a sleek matte me and I'm gonna put this over the top. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. It is super bold. It's very full. I'm kind of a bit over the golden goddess thing by now because like I've been wearing golden smoky eyes for like three months straight basically. But I wanted to talk you through two kind of like high street outfit options. I made an ASOS order the other day and I couldn't wait to show you guys what I'm wearing to transition into fall because it is still quite humid in London. So the first option is this dress. It's the one I'm wearing now. It's from one of my favorite brands. Brama. It's from 
from one of my favorite brands, Glamorous. I loved it because it was kind of like a winter appropriate floral dress. It wasn't too floral, it still has like the khaki tone. The florals are quite like fall, autumn, winter. And it's really flowy, it's really me, it's quite girly, but it has quite a nice feminine silhouette. It's kind of like off shoulder detail. It has some like cut out on the top and some gorgeous bows on the sleeves. And then with this, I wanted a pair of kind of block heels that I could wear that my feet felt secure in. My one problem with mules, guys, is that my feet are flapping all over the place and I look like I'm walking like a duck. I literally look like a duck. I cannot wear mules to save my life because my foot, the heel needs to be secure. Like, anyway, I could talk about this for hours and hours, but I found a pair of heels that are really comfy and they're really easy to walk in, but they also kind of add a little bit of a glam to an outfit, but they're also perfect for like day to night. Basically, they're just a really great all rounder heel and they're also from ASOS. They were actually quite affordable as well. I'll leave a link to everything I'm talking about down below. And my second dress is actually a corduroy dress. I've never owned a corduroy dress before, but I saw this color and I thought it was such a sophisticated pink and I loved the collar. I love the button down at the front as well. And I paired both those dresses with my classic Balenciaga bucket bag. So let me know which look was your favorite in the comments down below. If you didn't know my upload schedule, by the way, it is Mondays and Fridays at 5 p.m. So make sure you subscribe to stay tuned for more videos from me and I will see you guys in a couple of days time with another video. Bye guys!